Hello guys, I'm Ami Levine and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix DLL missing error files. First of all, what you're going to do is that you want to open your browser and search for DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer and this result will come up. And you want to click on the first item and the official web page of Microsoft will come up. The file size is not that big and it should not make that much of an effort to download it. At this point, you want to make sure to read all the lines of details and system requirements so you don't face any unexpected results. And although Windows 10 is not on the list, but you should not face any issue installing it on Windows 10. After you read all the lines, you're good to go to go to top of the page and click on the download button. After you've clicked on the download button, your file should be downloaded really fast and you're good to go. And you want to follow the instruction as you're seeing on the screen. But the point is that at some point it asks you if you want to install the Bing bar as well and you may not want to do that. After a short amount of time, the installation should be done and you're good to go for the second part. Okay, let's go to the second part of the video. I have this error as an example. In this error it said the program cannot start because a DLL is missing from computer. And what you want to do is that you want to have a copy of the name of that specific DLL somewhere in your computer. After you've done it, you want to open your browser and then search Google for DLL slash files. And then you want to click on the first result. The site name is DLL slash files.com. And what this site is doing is that this site is simply a treasury of all the DLL files. This site is so simple and easy to use with a great interference. At this point, what you want to do is that you want to paste the exact specific DLL name that you had earlier. And then just simply search for it. After the result showed up, you want to click on the DLL name to be able to get on a page to download it. At this point, you will see some instructions that I will explain to you and show you right now. One of the most important things that you want to make sure to consider is that if your processor is in 32-bit architecture or 64-bit architecture. To find it out, you want to simply click on My Computer and then right-click and then Properties. And then in front of System Type, you'll see whether 64 or 32. This is so important as you don't want to make any problem to your PC. After you find it out, you want to head back to the site and click on a link with the proper file to your computer. In my case, I'm using a 64-bit processor architecture, so I'm going to click on 64. And then the download prompt will come up. And then you simply want to click on the zip file and open it. This is specific part. What do you exactly want to do is that you want to follow the path that I'm going to. You want to open your PC and then go through the C drive and then Windows. And then you want to scroll down to see Windows 32 and you want to double click on it and get on that folder. Okay, as you can see, all the DLL files of your PC are exactly right here. And what do you want to do is that you want to grab the DLL file that you've downloaded to this specific folder. And then make sure to click on the first icon. I'm not going to do it as I already have the files. So basically here was the whole process. I would really be appreciated if you can like this video and subscribe to my channel as I need it so much. I will place my social media information in the description so please do not hesitate for any sort of help. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.